So you dropped Middle Finger U. Right. And uh, I guess it was on priority, right? Right. I, I was having I was having problems with uh, MCA, so I moved the project to priority. And like I said, it was two years late. There was a lot of there was a lot of other things that I won't mention involved in that situation, and uh, it, it just didn't. The timing was bad. You know, some of the material was a little dated to me. I had some, even though I did have some good songs on there, I thought. But it just, it just the timing of it, and then the separation, and you know, just everything played a part in, in, in that situation. Well, Jay Z shows up on two of the songs, right? Uh, he shows up on Face Off Two Thousand, right? And he shows up on pre, shows up on pregame, right? Pregame was a monster. Pregame yeah. was dope. Pregame was a monster. They actually used it on the Belly soundtrack. Uh, they still, you know, even it's just one of those records. Like today, they still, you know, they still bang it. Today is still, you know, a lot of people's favorite. You know, how did that album do overall? I don't know. I think it might have been two hundred fifty thousand, maybe, maybe three. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I mean, I bought it. I bought the CD. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Good looking. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought it was a dope project. Yeah. Um, so that album comes out, and I mean, in today's climate, you you sell two, three hundred thousand, you, you're the man. But but back then, if you're not going platinum, oh yeah, they're on, on to you know th- th- that's considered a tax write off almost. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. But like I said, there was a lot of a lot of moving parts to that, and you know, it couldn't do well. It was it would have been impossible for it to do anything good based on what was happening around that situation. Okay. And were you ever close to Jazzo yourself? Yeah, I mean, you know, we all came up together. You know, we used to play basketball together. And, you know, like, he's been to my house. I've been to his house. Like, we had, you know, we were close at one time. Well, at one point, Jazzo started having problems with Jay-Z. I guess the story was that he got offered a deal which he felt wasn't big enough, and he ended up separating, and then he started coming out with disc records and so forth. Mm-hmm. You know, I think DJ, I think DJ Premier actually produced one of the disc records. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know about that whole situation? I was there before before it even got to that. You know, so what I didn't respect, you know, is what I I knew what Jay did for him before. Any disc records, like, you know, my thing is this, like, we family, so we're not going to see eye to eye, you know. I don't know nobody that has family members that they like all the time, you know. So if there's an issue, I address you. I don't take it to, I, you know, I'm not going to make disc records and put them on the Internet and, uh, like, that's corny to me. If I got a problem with you, I'm going to talk to you. Like, me and Jay don't always get along. We have, we bump heads, you know, but if I have an issue or if he has an issue, then we we, we talk to each other, you know. So, tell me about the whole E-Money Bags situation. E, e was, you know, I was married to E first cousin. And uh, E and Jay bumped heads. Um, and fortunately it got worked out. You know, I was in a position to make a phone call. You know, I won't take credit for them working out their differences. I, you know, I was able to facilitate a conversation between the, both of some, between the both of them that, you know, they was able to smooth out their differences. Well, E Money Bags was a rapper, right. uh, I guess from Queens? Right, he was from Queens. He's originally from Brooklyn. Some of the projects. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and I guess he went to school with Jay-Z? Right, they went to Western House together. Okay, they went to school together. He was a rapper, but but also a gangster. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, I guess Jay-Z and, and the Rockefeller crew were, were on the radio, and um, I guess the, there was someone up there they mentioned called H Money Bags. Yeah, H from he's from Marcy. Okay, so you know who that is. Mm-hmm. 
but they called them H money bags. Right. Which I which E money bags took offense to. Right. Right. Yeah. But it started before that though. That was just that just escalated a situation that was already in, in progress. You know, um I think it's something with Rockaway clothing and you know, there was an exchange in Def Jam and I think E asked him, you know, what's up with some, you know, with the Rockaway clothes or whatever and Jay said something, I guess, that he didn't take on to or whatever. He thought he was saying something funny, and that's where it really started. Right. E-Money Bags was, was also running with Mob Deep. Right. Uh, and Nas. Right. And uh, Nori. Right. The whole, the whole Queensbridge crew. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, a real crazy situation ended up happening in Queens where uh, I guess... Him and Supreme got into some sort of, you know, argument over some money, you know, over a car or something like that. Over a thousand dollars. Over a thousand dollars. It's crazy when you say it out loud right now. Can you explain what happened next? I remember coming back from a funeral in Alabama, and I'm flying. I'm I'm in Atlanta, and uh, I get a call saying that you know they had killed E. And um, so instead of going back to California, I flew back to New York. And um, it was just really a sad situation, you know. It was really a sad situation. Um, I don't even really like talking about it, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, th- there was a prodigy uh, audio talking about this whole situation. I guess. After that thousand dollar beef, um, E Money Bags wanted to kill Supreme, so he pulled up on him and shot the car up, and it ended up killing uh, Black Just, who was a big a big figure yeah. in Queens. Yeah, yeah, I heard something like that. Yeah, and I guess it was on accident. He was actually trying to kill Supreme and kill the wrong person. Right. And then a few weeks later. Uh, e money bags gets killed himself. Right, right. Which yeah. you know, I I don't know the story, but you know, you could just assume that it was a retaliation for, right. for that shooting. Right, and you know, it didn't stop there. You know, they were they were, you know, they would use certain people because there were still people out there that were major major threats. You know, and even though they kill E. You know, there were still people out there that they couldn't be comfortable because, you know, these guys were serious people that wasn't just going to let that let that go. And uh, I remember one time Clark called me and he was like, um, I think, you know, Supreme wants to get you on a, uh, I think he was doing a project called Black Gangster or something like that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, they want to, you know, they want you to come to the studio and, and, and you know, get on a song or, or submit a song for, but I already knew to play, like, this is just game. Like, you trying to get a line on whoever else you feel is a threat. And, you know, I had to tell Clark, like, listen, man, I'm not interested in that. You know, tell them thanks, but no thanks. You know, because, you know, it was, it was still, it was still some things in the air, you know, they were still... It was when E died. It was still beef. It, it wasn't like that was the end of it. It was still drama in the street, you know. So they was just trying to get a line on certain people to try to get a line on who they really, you know. So I, I mean, it was just a real bad time, man. Yeah, and Supreme ultimately got convicted for a whole bunch of shit and is still in prison to this day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole thing was a mess, yeah. you know. And then Murder Inc. got tied into the whole Supreme situation yeah. and had and you know had to fight a federal case. Yeah. And uh, you know, even though they won it, it ended up you know almost wiping out the company, and they lost their okay. deal at Def Jam. And yeah, the, the the whole thing was a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, but I guess it's all a part of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh.